10 Most Incredible Abandoned Aircrafts It might seem absurd, maybe even a little crazy, for airplane companies to abandon the wreckage of an aircraft, given how expensive planes are. But the practice is not entirely uncommon, as there have been quite a number of documented airplanes left in the most mysterious of places. Some of them have a fatal backstory, while others are a classic case of laissez-faire, live and let live. Nevertheless, we will also include flights that went down in remote, inaccessible areas, making the planning and execution of recovery seem like rocket science, while other planes on this list were left behind to commemorate those who, unfortunately, lost their lives to the thrills of the sky. Stick around to find out which plane was also the talk of the town and one of the fanciest restaurants in the world. So, without further ado, let's get started with our list. Number 10, B-24 Wreckage in Arizona. Sequestered among the rocky boulders and thickets of the slopes of Arizona's Humphreys Peak is the rusting engine remains and body scraps of the U.S. Army B-24 plane, whose crew of eight died when the plane went down in 1944. Due to the unbelievable height of Humphreys Peak, it is, in fact, the highest peak in the state of Arizona, the rescue and recovery crew found it impossible to access the crash site, leaving the wreckage to the mercy of the elements. A few enthusiastic hikers, however, have managed to reach the site while touring the Coconino National Forest, snapping some memorable photos of the tragedy that occurred more than 75 years ago. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9, US Navy DC-3 Wreckage This is, by far, one of the most famous abandoned military wrecks in the world. The wreckage in question is that of a relic DC-3 rotting on the volcanic sands of the famous Salheimer Sandur Beach in Iceland. It's still a mystery to many as to why the plane crashed back in 1973, but investigators at the time deduced that it might have been the result of an empty fuel tank. Fortunately, the sturdy exterior of the plane protected the crew from the force of the impact, and none of the crew members were injured. Once the US rescue and recovery team made it to Iceland, they opted to leave the craft, seeing that it was too damaged to salvage any of the essential parts. As such, it has been transformed into a tourist site smack in the middle of the volcanic beach. How awesome is that? Number 8. The Heritage Park Wreckage Do some planes envy birds? just like androids envy humans in Hollywood movies? It certainly seems that way, considering this abandoned plane decided to make a home for itself perched up in the trees of British Columbia's Heritage Park. The park, which is located in Mission, Canada, is home to the mangled remnants of a one-seater airplane, and to this day, the exact origins of the plane are shrouded in mystery. Once investigators looked at the plane, it was discovered that the graffiti etched on one of its wings dates back to 1971 which probably means that the plane has seen its fair share of star-studded nights up on that tree. So the only way we could ever know the origins of the plane is if we, well, uh, go back in time. But that ain't happening anytime soon, is it? But thank God, we actually thought the plane had gone rogue on us like in Will Smith's Eye Robot. Number 7, Crash Site of TWA Flight 260 the world is a place of tumultuous events, and sometimes, we can't help but experience them regardless of how tragic they are. To commemorate the unfortunate airplane crash of the TWA flight in 1955, the recovery crew decided to leave the wreckage of debris and turn it into a memorial site for the living to honor their dead. The plane, which left Albuquerque heading to Santa Fe, went down in the nearby Sandia Hills. Initially, investigators thought the accident was as a result of a pilot error, but further analysis ruled this out. And to this day, the true cause of the accident has never been discovered. The canyon in which the plane fell is now known as the TWA Canyon. Number 6. Wreckage of a Wellington Bomber Unnoticeable through the thicket and plush greenery of one of southern France's valleys, you will find the Royal Air Force Wellington Bomber, whose crew tragically met their demise in 1944 at Semaine Le Breton. 1944 was a difficult year for the aviation industry to say the least, as many of the safety inventions ushered in by modern technology were not present. Today, however, we can confidently say that air travel is 99% of the time safe. 
This relic of a plane went down after being hit by anti-aircraft during a bombing run in World War II. All that remains now is twisted metal lying desolately on the valley. Nevertheless, the brave men who served in the mission have not been forgotten. Their names have been etched on little plaques set on five stones on the wreckage site. Number 5. The Wreck of Araruba P-4 YSA In the thick, dense jungles of the Dutch Caribbean island of Curacao lies the rusting remains of the Araruba P-4 YSA. If you hadn't seen it here first, you would think you're looking at a scene from one of the classic Indiana Jones' movies. It's still a mystery to investigators how the plane crashed in what is now its tropical home. Allegedly, the reason why a site analysis was not conducted was because search and rescue operations were cut short when another plane went down elsewhere in the jungle. Nevertheless, the plane's debris looks like it's still in great condition. Can some of it be used to scrap metal? Just asking for a friend. Number 4. Atka B-24D Liberator Since 1942, the wreckage of an Atka B-24D Liberator has been sleeping right in the middle of an Alaskan field. The silver plane was intentionally crash-landed after the crew discovered that their previous landing zone had been compromised. Despite the field not having a standard runway, the air crew still managed to pull off one heck of a great landing, saving their lives. In fact, only one crew member sustained a broken collarbone. Other than that, the rusting plane is a testament of their lucky escape from the jaws of death. And now we've come to the best pick of the day. Do you love scuba diving? What's the coolest thing you've ever seen in the ocean? Well, it looks like this scuba diver here just got his 5 seconds of fame. And he's definitely not wasting them. What he is holding right there is the motor blade of an abandoned relic deep in the ocean. Number 3. Corsair Plane Wreck Dive Site While most of our plane wrecks have been on the ground, here's one abandoned plane that is silently languishing in the depths of the ocean. A fan favorite among scuba divers, the Vought F4U Corsair Wreckage went down en route a mission in 1948, at the height of World War II. According to reports, the pilot was flying across the region when the engine suddenly failed, leaving him with no option but to force a landing in the ocean with the plane sinking to the same spot that it is today. Number 2. The Antonov AN-255 Buying Its Time During the final years of the Cold War, Soviet engineers were working round the clock to build a plane that would crown the Soviet Republic as the masters of air travel around the world. That plane was known as the Antonov AN-225, and to date, it is the largest cargo plane in the world. In fact, there is only one working plane in existence, and it was first released in 1998. Nevertheless, the Antonov project was cut short after the collapse of the Soviet Union, and one of the two planes has been sitting idly in a warehouse in Kiev for nearly 30 years. Number 1. Abandoned Planes of the Michelangelo da Vinci Restaurant The year was 2000, and it was the beginning of a new millennium. It was also the year that Italian brewmaster Gigi Stecca had the idea of opening a restaurant inside two planes so that revelers could sample a world-class airline experience while still enjoying great food. A fan of classical art, the restaurateur even hung replicas of art done by Renaissance masters Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. The two planes used for the restaurant were a Tupolev Tu-145 and a Douglas DC-6. The restaurant had a world-class kitchen to satiate the customers with all their needs, serving delicacies such as traditional Italian pizza and grilled fish or steak. Live bands were held on Sundays, and if you fancied a swim, you could head to the swimming pools located underneath the wings of the planes. A fake control tower was even put in place to enhance the theme. Unfortunately, a series of long, bitter legal battles with the municipality of Villa Marzana led to the restaurant's shutdown in 2000. 2014. Now, all that remains are the abandoned airplanes left at the mercy of the elements. So, do you happen to know about any abandoned planes in your local area? And which of these abandoned planes would you like to see? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want more videos that would probably still exist until the end of time? Click on any of the videos you see on the screen. As always, thanks for watching.